Hurricane Matthew damaged thousands of homes here in Central Florida, and that means thousands of people are calling upon their insurance company for help. This morning, Lockbert joins us from Security First Insurance. Thanks for coming in. You're quite welcome. Glad oh. to be here. Oh, yes, we're glad to have you. We were just talking about this. You said you guys have 10,000 claims so far from Hurricane Matthew, correct? Yeah, the most claims filed uh, in the state of Florida are in Volusia County, and um, we insure one out of every eight homes in Orlando, uh, Daytona Beach, Jacksonville, in Melbourne. We've got 125,000 customers in this area, so we're the, the biggest insurance company uh, in this area. What? And uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, I was just trying to figure out what's some of the major damage that you've been seeing thus far? Well, it's primarily trees uh, falling in the yard or trees uh, falling on roofs, um, fences blowing away, um, and there's a lot of flood damage, but mm -hmm. the homeowner's insurance policy does not cover flood. A lot of people don't know that, okay. and you need a separate policy from the federal government to cover flood insurance. And unfortunately, um, a lot of people in Florida don't buy flood coverage and they need it because it's, it's really water coverage. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have a heavy rain, your home can be damaged uh, by water coming into your house. And uh, many times that's not covered by your homeowner's insurance policy. Now we're like two weeks out from the hurricane. Yes. Some people have a lot of questions about filing this claim. Where do they start? Well, the the biggest question that people have is about the deductible okay. because every uh, homeowner's policy, every insurance policy you sign has a deductible and that's simply the amount that you have to pay before the insurance company starts to pay your loss. Right. And most policies have one deductible and you have to pay your deductible every time you report a claim. A homeowner's policy is different. We have one deductible if you have a fire or your home is damaged by a tornado, mm -hmm. but then there's a special deductible for hurricanes. And the deductible for a hurricane is an annual deductible, mm -hmm. so you don't have to pay it every time you, you report a claim. And most people are nervous about reporting a small claim because a lot of times it will raise your rates or result in a change in your coverage. That's not true with a homeowner's policy because a hurricane is an act of God. And so reporting a small claim will not increase your rates okay. and it will not result in your policy being canceled. Yeah. And the reasons for doing it is first of all, we will send a professional loss adjuster to your house and they will look at the damage and a lot of times they'll find damage that you didn't know you had and they'll tell you that it costs more than you think to fix it. That happened to a friend of mine. Okay. He didn't think he had a claim, but he really did. The second thing that happens is it will document the amount of the deductible that you pay. So even if you don't reach the deductible amount, you don't pay all of your deductible this storm, if the next storm hits this season, you won't have to pay your deductible twice. Okay. And um, so people really, it's counterintuitive, counterintuitive, but people should report even small claims so we can determine what happened to their house. Okay, there's damage reported, some good advice. Lockbert Security First Insurance, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much for having me. All right.